Welcome to Prezium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 64 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the in-proc ASP.NET session state mode. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch part 61, 62 and 63 of this video series. ASP.NET session state mode can be off, in-proc, state server, SQL server, a custom. Session state mode is set in the web.config file. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a simple ASP.NET web application project with two web forms, web form 1 and web form 2. On web form 1, we have two text box controls where the user will enter their name and email. And once they click on go to web form 2, the user will be navigated to web form 2.aspx. On web form 2, we have two label controls which will display the entered name and email on web form 1. And the technique that we are using to send data from web form 1 to web form 2 is by using session variables. So we are retrieving the name and email from the text boxes, storing them in the session variables and redirecting the user to web form 2. On web form 2, we are retrieving the values from the respective session variables and then displaying them in the label controls. Okay. Now in web.config, we are setting the session state mode to in proc. But before that, let's look at all the choices that are available for session state mode. You know, these are the choices. Now, if I set the session state mode to off, then that is going to disable the session state across the entire application. If my application doesn't use sessions, then it makes sense to disable session state because that's going to improve the performance of my application. But if my application uses sessions, then it makes sense to choose one of these uh, options. Okay. Now, each option has their own advantages and disadvantages. In this session, we'll talk about the in-proc session state mode and the advantages and disadvantages associated with that session state mode. So if I choose in proc as a session state mode, then the session state variables are stored on the web server memory inside the ASP.NET worker process. Now what do we mean by ASP.NET worker process? To run an ASP.NET web application project, you know, it has to run inside an executable. So what is that executable which runs the ASP.NET web application? It's called as the ASP.NET worker process. I have IIS 7 installed on my computer, which is running the ASP.NET web applications. So the worker process on my machine is w3wp.exe. And if you want to see the worker process on the task bar, right click on the task bar and select start task manager. And within the task manager window, click this button, show processes from all users. And then, uh, uh, you know, select any of the processes and then press a W. So W3WP.exe. And if you look at that, it's an IIS worker process. So this is the worker process, which is actually running the ASP.NET web application project. Okay, let me run this project now. So let's go to webform1.aspx and before that, uh, notice that we are using the session state modus in proc. Okay, so let me run this now. So the webform loads and we can enter the name and the email. So let's enter the name as Prajim, email as Prajim at prajimtech.com. I click on go to webform2. Look at this. So what is this webform doing? This webform on the button click, it's actually storing the entered name and email in these session variables. And if you look at the session state mode that we are using, it's in proc. So when we set the session state mode to in proc, the session state variables are stored on the web server memory inside the ASP.NET worker process which means the name and email session variables are stored in this executable w3wp.exe. Okay, now look at this. I'm on this webform2.aspx. Now, if I click enter here, I'm kind of refreshing the page. And look at that, you know, I have those values. The request is going to the web server. The session variables are there in the worker process. So it will retrieve them and display them. But just imagine what is going to happen if I restart this worker process in the sense if I kill this, it's going to start automatically on its own. I'm going to kill that end process. It will give you a warning, but just click on end process. So that's going to kill the worker process and it will start automatically on its own. Now look at this. When I click this once again, when I just click enter here in the URL, I'm requesting this web form two again. So when it comes back, look at what's happening the session state variables are lost and you understand why because the session state variables you know are stored in the worker process we have restarted the worker process so what's the result of that the variables are lost so that's the main disadvantage of using in proc session state mode 
okay uh, so before we understand the other advantages and disadvantages let's understand these terms web farm and web garden what we mean by them web garden is a situation where when we deploy our web application on a web server that has got multiple processors that's called as a web garden and if I deploy a web application on multiple servers then it's called as a web form because we will be using these terms when we talk about the advantages and disadvantages now if your application is is being accessed by you know many many users then definitely one web server will not be able to serve all the users so what we do we deploy the application on multiple servers and then there will be a network load balancer which will redirect the user's request to the server that's least busy so that kind of a deployment is called as web farm but then there could also be web servers with multiple processors a single server but with multiple processors that's called as web garden so web application deployed on a server with multiple processors okay now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages advantages of in proc session state mode now session state in proc session state mode is very easy to implement all you have to do here is in web.config file set mode is equal to in proc you're done and you know in your code files you just read and write session variables you don't have to do anything extra no other configuration because if you choose session state mode as state server then there is some additional configuration that has to be done similarly for SQL server but for NPROC you don't have to anyth do anything just set the mode and you're done so very easy to implement all that is required is to set the session state mode is equal to NPROC in web.config file and this will perform best because the session state memory is kept on the web server within the ASP.NET worker process so it's stored in the memory so anything you have in the memory it's very easy I mean it's very fast to read and write to memory rather than to read and write to a hard disk okay so worker process you know in proc is the best session state mode in terms of performance okay and it is suitable for web applications hosted on a single server so if I have a single server with one processor then maybe we can use in proc session state mode and objects can be added without serialization now um, you know this is an important point to be kept in mind if we have complex objects like customer employee etc these objects if we are using session state mode as SQL server or state server before we send the object to SQL server or state server you know to store them we need to serialize and deserialize the, these complex objects simple op simple simple types like strings integers you know they need not be serialized but complex types definitely needs to be serialized if we are using uh, other session state modes like state uh, server or SQL server and uh, these two session state modes state server and SQL server these are also called as out of process session state modes in proc is inside process out of process is out of worker process which is which are state server and SQL server in fact that's an important interview question as well so for in proc you know we don't have to do any kind of serialization and deserialization you can store complex objects simple types you know whatever you want um, within in proc without serialization but when it comes to um, out of process state server or SQL server you need to serialize and deserialize them okay but the disadvantages session state data is lost when the worker processor application pool is recycled we have just seen that you know we, we restarted the ASP.NET worker process and the session variables data is lost okay similarly application pool is nothing but the applications run inside an application pool and these worker process and application pools they restart for a variety of reasons okay a web application restarts you know for example if you change web.config file or global.asx and if you save that on the server the web application restarts and the, your session state variables will be lost so if you if your session state mode is in proc you know and if the worker process recycles are is restarted then the session data is lost and there are a variety of reasons why a worker process will be recycled if the worker process is consuming excess uh, memory then we restart the worker process to improve the performance of the application in fact there is a technique called process recycling that happens on its own depending on some thresholds that we set okay and another thing it's not suitable for web farms and web gardens so what's a web farm a web farm is a situation where we have the web application deployed on different web servers let's say for example I have the same application deployed on three servers like this um, 
you know on three different servers and there is there is a load balancer and then a client request is coming load balancer will identify okay which server is least busy let's say when the first request came web server 1 is least busy it's going to send a request to web server 1 and you enter the name and email click the button it goes to the same web server so the session variables are created on this web server inside the worker process okay now when i refresh webform2.aspx or when I request webform2.aspx again it goes to the load balancer and load balancer now sees this server's at, server as least busy the second server it sends the request to this server but the session state variables for that user are not present on this server so it's going to return an empty email and label okay so which means for this user session state data is lost but again if he refreshes and then if the uh, request goes to web server 1 he will get the email and name again so it's kind of the user will be surprised you know session state data is lost and then it comes back it lost and then it come back depending on the server to which the request goes okay that's why you know if it's a web farm or a web garden then in proc session state mode is not suitable we have to use one of the out of process session state mode either state server or sql server and scalability could be an issue because inside worker process if you, you know, just imagine if there are thousands and thousands of users for your application and you are on a per user basis let's say you have 500 or 600 session variables that you are storing now just imagine what's going to happen um, you know as the number of users grows you know the session memory the web servers you know the memory that that's on the uh, you know web server will run out at some point of time because the number of users are growing and the amount of memory consumed by your session variables is also growing so uh, if the physical memory runs out of space then you know windows uses something called paging which will definitely slow down the application and that's going to affect the scalability okay so these are the disadvantages of using in proc session state mode in the next session we'll talk about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using a state server and we'll also see how to configure asp.net state server on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, uh, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.